Get ready for all of the 90 Day Fiancé news and updates from the past week about old and new cast members. Paul Stale was perhaps the most talked about star last week, owing to the disappearance of Paul and Karina Martin's three-year-old son, Pierre Stale. Paul denied kidnapping the toddler, but did reveal that he and Karina lost custody of Pierre and their one-year-old son, Ethan Stale. After videos of the couple's allegedly abusive relationship surfaced online, Paul and Karina were last seen together on TLC in 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After, Season 5, following their debut in 2017. Also in the news were Jovi Dufresne and Yara Zaya, who squashed divorce rumors by creating a funny video of her pouring beer for him in a bikini on the 4th of July. 90 Day Fiancé's Hazel Kagalatin admitted that Tarek Myers never hit her, and was never physically abusive in any other ways. Iswe Lupula gave the finger to a TLC viewer who questioned if he and Kalani are still together. Angela Deem hung out with a mystery man at a pool, while wearing a very revealing bikini. For Former 90 Day Fiancé star Ashley Martin asked fans to pray for her after her recent breakup with a mystery boyfriend. Juliana Custodio revealed her bare baby bump in nude photos, and she is almost ready to deliver her first child. Rebecca Parrott returned home to the U.S. after her vacation in Tunisia with Zeed Hakimi, to only find herself locked up alone in a Neri building. Meanwhile, the family Chantel cast member Winter Everett opened up. Winter showed before and after weight loss photos of herself on Ig. News of former 90 Day Fiancé couple Paul and Karina's son Pierre going missing spread like wildfire. After a screenshot from a bulletin posted by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children surfaced online, the listing noted that the toddler was last seen on June 8th, maybe in the company of his father. However, Paul told TMC on Saturday, July 1st, that he took Pierre on a long work trip last month, and said that they are both safe. Paul claimed that, since early last month, he had been traveling back and forth through Pennsylvania and Florida, in search of work. He shared that he brought Pierre along. Since the child has separation anxiety, reality TV star Paul spoke about heading back to Louisville with the child. As of today, a TMZ report says that Paul has returned to Kentucky with Pierre, who has been taken to a foster home, where Ethan also is, by Child Protective Services. Georgia woman Rebecca used to get called out for posting selfies with multiple filters on Instagram, but she's stopped doing that now, and seems to update her fans whenever something shocking happens in her life. Last week, Rebecca posted a video about how she was trapped at work, in a building with no access to Wi-Fi or electricity, because the staircase was locked. Rebecca was the only person in the building, other than a security guard on the first floor, whom she was unable to contact. 90 Day fiancé cast member Rebecca waited for an hour and a half before forcing open a stairwell door and navigating the dark stairwell with great caution. Then, she wandered down several flights of stairs to finally locate the security guard on the main floor. Chantel Everett's younger sister Winter is proud of her fitness journey, and she is showing off her new body in before and after pictures on Ig. Winter shared a collage of her old and new pics, to show how much her body has changed after losing weight. Winter underwent bariatric surgery to lose weight. After making the decision to transform herself. When she made that choice, she weighed almost 300 pounds. The family Chantel star Winter posted a picture from when she began her body acceptance journey, and then added newer pictures of her in bathing suits, which flattered the 90-day fiancé celeb's curvaceous body. Sources TMC TMC Rebecca Parrott slash TikTok Winter Everett slash Instagram